two days to go until the start of the biggest cultural festival in our history. And this is a really huge moment. I, I don't think the penny has yet dropped with the public. I think they're beginning to appreciate that much of the games. But the scale and the excitement of the biggest cultural festival in our history is something that still, um, I think, people um, have yet to appreciate. Um, and it's going to be absolutely remarkable. I think it's incredibly exciting for anyone who loves culture. Um, the Royal Shakespeare Festival already underway, Shakespeare's plays are formed in 37, all close second plays are formed in 37 different languages. You can find out the Chinese for a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse, um, amongst many other delights at the Globe Theatre. Uh, we have 130 world premieres, we have um, poets from 150 different countries, uh, open opportunities to see something completely free of charge. And um, it's going to be a very, very important moment uh, in our cultural history. Our target, of course, is for 10 million free opportunities to see things, to be part of things in the cultural festival. And we've already got to 2.3 million. And it's the middle of June, and the festival carries on to September. So, you know, a really strong, positive start. We also want to try to get into the spirit of the Olympics uh, and break a few records. You just have to think about some of these numbers, but the Tate movie, uh, 34,000 young people were involved in the Tate movie. You just think of that, 34,000 young people, I think that's the Or Anish Kapoor and the Arcella Middle Orbit, which are orbit, the tallest sculpture uh, in the world. So some records being been there as well. It's all possible because of an extraordinary coming together of people, of organisations, to make this festival work. As well as the programmes within the Festival 2012, there are a number of other projects and uh, art installations and events that we're doing uh, in the Mayor's Office in partnership with other organisations. So BT Life Science, uh, which have already been announced, and they have a fantastic lineup. And this is for three million Londoners to see the sport on large screens uh, in, 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 in a great environment with cultural activities and lots of fun things to do. So they can feel that they're part of the games. And they, they get to experience some of the atmosphere uh, of being in Olympic City. Uh, we also have our programme gigs, which is 